And it's championship weekend for the NFL. Just one Sunday remains until we know the two teams headed to the 2021 Super Bowl. And here with me to break down all the odds for each of the four remaining, Kenny White, the wizard of odds for Sportsline. How's it going, Kenny? Hey, hi, Katie. I'm just looking forward to this weekend. Wow, we have two great games with four great quarterbacks. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, let's start with the Green Bay Packers hosting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because we have two incredible veteran QBs going head-to-head -head in this matchup. Aaron Rodgers, certainly a tough one to beat at home. So what are the odds the Bucs can get it done? Yeah, the, uh, the Green Bay Packers are a three-point favorite in this game. Uh, to, to win the game, money line is about uh, minus 170, plus 150 for the Buccaneers. So the, the betting odds are saying there's a 40% chance that the Bucs can come away with a win here and head to the Super Bowl and be the first team ever to play their Super Bowl in their home stadium. Are there any other betting angles or, or trends that you're seeing for this NFC matchup? Yeah, I, I love the one with Aaron Rodgers at home. Uh, he's just amazing playing in Lambeau, 62, 35, and four, covering the point spread 64% of the time. He He's just amazing. We, we talked about this one last week. He did not let us down. He played an amazing game against the number one defense in the NFL. So that, that was a, a great performance by Aaron Rodgers. Future Hall of Famer, for sure. Moving over to the AFC. Big question mark, though, surrounding Patrick Mahomes' availability for this game at Arrowhead. He went down in the final quarter against the Browns Sunday, and now he's on concussion protocol. So how is that affecting the spread? You know, I, I was wondering when it first happened if sportsbooks would put this line up, and they did right away. This line went up about uh, right after the game was over. Uh, Chiefs were a one-point favorite, and it was bet to pick them. And then all of a sudden, all the money started coming in on Kansas City and pushed this number up to the Chiefs minus three. And that's where we stand right now. The Chiefs are a three-point favorite, and that is a Patrick Mahomes in number and it, once, the, once the word comes out that he is playing for sure, this number will go up higher. I think it could go to four, four and a half for Kansas City. If he does not play, it will spiral the other direction, and the Bills will end up being a favorite in this football game. I also have another interesting tidbit for this matchup because it is the first time in AFC history a team hosted the AFC Championship three years in a row, three years for Kansas City. Are there any interesting betting angles surrounding that? And Kenny, I know that you don't really have much history to go off of. Yeah, you're, you're right. But it, to me, it's, it just breeds confidence for that home team, the Chiefs, three straight years in this game. Experience is such a big part of any sport or any, any walk of life. Experience is, is key. And the Chiefs playing at home uh, will be good. They had about 40%, it looked like about 40% fans in the stands last week. They are one of the top home fields in the NFL right there with the Green Bay Packers. So it's amazing that two of the teams that are best at home this year when we didn't have crowds are still uh, supporting those home teams. And right, it'll be fun to see both of these uh, AFC and NFC matchups this weekend. All right, Kenny, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you. And for even more sports betting news, make sure you head on over to Sportsline. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.